83 days to go. What is going on? How are you? Well, that's really big. All right. Let's see what happened there. Jobs. I don't know what happened to the size of my uh What's up, Dwayne? Dwayne, you are here early and I am ready for you. What's cracking? How are you guys today? I am back day 17, 83 days to go. That's exciting. That is exciting. You guys were patient with me last night. Thank you. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, Very patient with me and I put in the work and I am excited for today. We're going to be talking about rebrandly bringing in the domains. If you have not purchased a domain, if you're thinking about purchasing a domain, once you have done that step, um, going into rebrandly and continuing on your marketing and personal branding kick. It's a rainy day in the Northwest. Gretchen says, um, the weather was, you know, it was a little cold. It was a little cold. It was like in the mid fifties. I've been used to the 60s, 70s. I got spoiled over the weekend. And so um, when I checked, I asked Siri to tell me the weather, I was like, um, why 50 degrees? Like, n- no. And it was a little cloudy, not rainy though, but I'm just ready for the sun. And I just want, you know what was good news? Well, cute news. So I have plants throughout my house. I've always liked tending to plants and things like that. And so I keep a plant of um, their perennials and I don't know I forget the name the name just gets out of me right now um you get them every year oh my goodness well I have a a pot outside and you know they died during the winter I've kept it outside didn't bring it in or whatever the case may be hey girl hey how are you and this morning when I was coming back in the house my little pot is now 
sprouting new blooms for this year. So I was so excited. So I went and I got my little garden shears. I cut off the dead um, twigs from last year. And then I started like there were leaves and stuff in the pot. So I started cleaning up the pot. And as I started cleaning up the pot and just rearranging, I saw all little baby sprouts. So that made me happy. That made me very excited. Spring is officially here. And I get to tending of my pots. And I don't know why. I can't think of a name. It's colorful flowers. I don't know. Anyway, what's up, girl? Angie's saying you're, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I cooked a lasagna first time ever, cooking a lasagna ever. So that's one. And I decided to experiment to try it in my slow cooker. Angie and I were on the phone and she was cooking some pasta and stuff in the slow cooker. And I was like, that's a great idea. I don't have to stand over the stove and watch it and check on it. Let me give it a try. Wait, it was 85 here yesterday and today it's 67. This weather 85 is, oh man. What I would have loved for 85 degree weather. Listen, I will lay out in the back yard and just catch a tan that's what I can't wait for um anyway so I was like let me give it a try thank god first of all god bless my girlfriend Angelica because guys I swear to god all that I was going to do was just late <laughs> oh my goodness I was just gonna lay out the pasta the meat and a little bit of sauce literally so I took the cro the slow cooker out right and I got the box of, I took my meat out. I got the box of lasagna out and I started to literally put that on the bottom. And Angie was like, what are you doing? What were you really just going to put out the lasagna strips on the bottom? And I was like, yeah, am I supposed to do anything? She's like, oh my God, you have to do a layer of sauce. And then, and I was like, what? So Angie literally helped me from step one. And then she was going too fast. She was like, all right. And you got to mix the ricotta and you got to get some eggs and you got it. And I'm like, hold on, hold on. And then I say that Angie didn't tell me the steps in the right order because she was like jumping ahead. And so then when I was doing one layer, she said, did you put the meat and then the sauce and then another layer? And I was like, yeah. And so whatever, I don't know with the layers, I did it. Apparently I didn't put enough sauce on one side and she was like, all right, you know what? This is your thing. So I ended up doing it. It took two and a half hours. I did it. She helped me all the way. Like, and thank the Lord. Um, we figured it out. She was like, okay, look, that's fine. You didn't put it on this layer. You'll just put extra on the other layer. She helped me make the ricotta mix because I also, she told me to put eggs in it and to like season the ricotta mix and then to get some, I had, so I had the ingredients. That's the good thing. I have the ingredients in the house. I just don't know how to put the ingredients together. Although I will say that I have the ingredients in the house because Angie cooks when she comes here. So there's that. But she helped me put it all together. She helped me, you know, cook it. She told me, okay, now you're going to do this layer. And so last week when I went to the terminal, I went to one of the meat markets. I did get fresh Italian sausages. So I had fresh Italian sausage chopped up. They were frozen a little bit. So I chopped them up into little pieces, took the ground beef, um, put them together like a layer of chopped of uh, sausage, then pasta, then a layer of ground um, beef. And then my last layer was the sausage and the ground beef together. You know, the ricotta, all of that good stuff. Um, it would have, you know what? So Sylvia and Keith and Angie and me, we've all said that when I cook, I should put a camera. <laughs> that would have 100% been a fun live stream and we have said so Keith loves my 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 kitchen he's like India you got the right kitchen India it's so great like you can just put some cameras you have the great lighting and it'll just and Sylvia says it all the time so I have said that I should just do some live streams as I do these um as I start to randomly cook it was the funniest thing between the two of us in Angie's face she just like relented and was like you know what it's your lasagna it's okay honey it's okay thank god I listened to her because that lasagna came out so good. But then I thought about how I was going to do it versus what Angie. I wouldn't have like with the ricotta. I was just going to put the like open up the ricotta and just put the. 
put ricotta in the pasta, you know, like in the pot. And Angie was like, no, babe, you need some eggs because of the substance and you got to season it. You want to put it together. And I was like, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Like, I absolutely would not have done that. So thank you for you, babe. Just want to tell you. And so I have a nice big pot of um, lasagna that it was the easiest thing. It was what how I dirty pretty much two two bowls. So a bowl to mix the egg and the ricotta in. Put that in the fridge. My whisk, um, not in the fridge. I put that in the sink, the whisk, and then the pot to um, that I cooked the food in. That was it. I didn't dirt any dirty anything else. I left it. It took. Two and a half hours, I did have to come and like at certain points uh, push the pasta down like the edges because they were out and I didn't want them to be like burnt or not properly cooked. So I put them under the meat and, you know, the watery substance, whatever the sauce. And so I had a small piece for lunch and it was so good. So again, thank you to Angie for helping rescue my lunches and my dinners because it would have been a whole nother story. I don't know what I would have eaten had I done it with Angie. Not without Angie. Um, OBS is saying that I should do it. I should put some, get like some of those stands, you know, the overhead stands, C stands, and then put it and have my road wireless goes. I'm already good with that, right? The road wireless goes. I can bring my laptop upstairs, stream from the iPad, the um, MacBook Pro. That'll be fun. I did say, and so I have a new box of, and we're going to get into rebrandly, but you know, we just chit chat. We get to hang out and just chit chat first, warm things up, and then we get into the mode. Um, I did order another uh, box of Green Chef because they have a great deal on Groupon. So I always get the four weeks worth of three meals through Groupon. And then what that does for me is that I, um, it's three meals for two, right? So four weeks worth of three meals for two people. But then those two people are technically like my lunch and dinners. So I'll cook the whole meal and then I will um put one of the meals in the Tupperware I'll put the other meal you know that'll be my lunch depending on the time of day that I cook it and then that's how I eat it's a better way for me to control my healthier eating to control the veggies and things like that and I did say and I get to follow a card right the ingredients card so I did say that I wanted to live stream that stuff and kind of put it so maybe next week when the box comes I'll have some some uh and that'll be some of my live streams for next week, my cooking dinner with you guys and seeing how easy it is. Cause it is fairly easy. And for someone like me, listen, just tell me what to do. Can't have you hungry on these lives. 100%. Just tell me what to do. I'm, I follow really good instructions. I'll follow the steps and the food has come out when I've done the, um, I've done both green chef and, uh, hello fresh. The food has come out amazing. So give me the ingredients, give me the the right portions of ingredients. Tell me step by step and I'm good. And I throw on a little apron, so we might be doing that. Paul says, you can get a direct flight to California. I will meet you at the airport and grab the, it was really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my social media and I'll share it to Facebook and I'll tag you guys so you guys can all be envious of how good the lasagna, like it was really good. So I'm excited to eat that for dinner tonight and then I have leftovers. So yay for the slow cooker for the win. That was the best thing. And yay for Angie. All right. So on Monday, we went over why you should have your own domain, what a domain is, all of that good stuff. You guys all here are self-proclaimed domain addicts. And so moving on to the domain addicts, what I would hope to hear from you guys is that, and you know, I didn't put my countdown timer. See, and now it's too late. See, y'all got me, but that's all right. We're going to keep it on just to keep it on, to keep me on track. So what I would hope is that with the domains that you guys all have, you do have some sort of rebrandly, bit.ly, tiny URL, some sort of customized link shortener to further take your domains to the next level. If not, you are in the right place because we are going to talk about rebrandly what it does for you what it looks like um some of their competitors and why and it's so funny so feel so alive was on monday she was asking questions about why rebrandly may be better than bitly and i didn't have a direct answer because i just when i signed up for rebrandly it was because doc and diana uses it and it was like all right cool and of course now that i did my research to prepare for the stream i have the answer as to why you would want to use rebrandly over someone you know one of the other competitors so 
let's get straight into it. And I will do some moving around. I mean, I guess I can move this around somewhere for now. I'm not going to go too crazy. That's fine. What is Rebrandly? So Rebrandly is just a link management platform that allows you to shorten links and customize using your domain name. Um, that is the short and narrow. The easiest answer is Rebrandly will take any link that you want, any link that you can grab from the internet, and you can put your domain on the front part of the link. So my domain is indiad.live, and then there's the slash, the forward slash, and whatever keyword, they call it a slug, like the little slimy animal. They call it a slug, and whatever slug you want, you can put on the end, right? So if you would ever like to set up an appointment with me, you can do indiad.live slash meet, and that will take you to my calendar, where you can schedule an appointment. If you ever wanted to jump onto one of my Ecamm live streams, it's indiad.live slash join. And so the slug is slash join and indiad is my branded link, right? So from Ecamm, I turn on interview mode. I copy that link that they provide us and now I rebrand it using my domain name. So that's what pretty much Rebrandly does in a nutshell. You can get five different domains for free with their starter package, and then you get 500 total branded links. So what does that mean? Domains. So I mentioned to you guys that I have indiad.live. I have idelgadoproductions.live, idelgadoproductions.com. I can go ahead and add up to five of my personal domain names and then bring them in to Rebrandly and redirect any site that I want, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, an Apple link, right? Like it works really well, especially for affiliate links. So if you have affiliate marketing links and you want to rebrand them, that is one of the best ways to do your affiliate links because we get really crazy, like long, weird numbers through there. And you continue on with your brand. So rebrandly competitors, I kind of mentioned it already. You have bit.ly, um, and then tiny URL. There are more competitors for Rebrandly. I was looking into it. So there's like, they consider Linktree one of their um, competitors, but that's Linktree is kind of like you, you put in all of your social media handles and then it's just one link. You send somebody to that one link and then they can kind of go there. Um, if you are a Hootsuite user, they have their own link shortener platform called owl.ly. Uh, so there's different competitors, but these were the two main ones that pretty much do almost the same exact thing as Rebrandly. Rebrandly, now the difference, the biggest difference, and this was why I did sign up for it, is that Rebrandly is completely free to set up and get going where these other ones are free, but there are some caveats, right? And the biggest caveats is that the purpose of what we're talking about this week is your own personal branding and your own personal marketing, right? Buying your own domain so that you can have consistent marketing and consistent branding. So everyone knows whatever your domain is, you're good to go. With the free versions of both bit.ly and tiny URL, they don't give you branded short links. They're random short links, so you can shorten a link. Um, and I think it's with tiny URL. You can put a custom slug at the end of it, but it's not the same. So that's where pricing comes into with Bitly and uh, tiny URL versus Rebrandly. If you want to start using your own domain with these two competitors, that's where you start paying a monthly service. So with Bitly to use your domain, you have to pay 29. It starts at $29 a month and then you get 1500 links per month. With Rebrandly, it's 500 total um, branded links. Tiny URL is a little bit cheaper, $9.99 a month. And then you also get 500 links per, per month. So OBS says you can put five domains. I thought there was only one domain allowed. No, see? Good. This is, this is the good stuff. This is the stuff that makes me happy that when I give you guys just a little bit of information, it's like, all right, cool. That's good. 
Yes. And so I didn't know that neither. And apparently I li- lies. I didn't know that because then when I went to add more domains, I actually have two of my domains there. I just don't use them. So I have some other domains that I want to start taking advantage of. Like for Angie and I, I have the podcast, right? And I purchased red light, green light dot life, like the whole words, red light, green light. But then I also purchased RLGL dot live and dot com. So then as we start to get everything off, you know, kicked off and ready to go, now we can start using our own rebranded links, rlgl.live or redlightgreenlight.live and use Rebrandly to take advantage of that, right? You are very welcome, Obs. No problem. Um, let me hide. 83 days to go. We are on day 17. Um, and then what the f- total branded links mean is that basically every link that you are going to use as a redirect, right? So if you're going to rebrand your own YouTube link, that's considered a link. If you're going to create a link where you direct people to your Instagram page, that's a, an individual branded link. Um, my Ecamm Live interview link, that's a rebranded link. So what they're saying is that for the free version, you get five free domains as well as 500 total branded links. I've been using Rebrandly for about a year and a half now. I think I don't even have no more than 30 branded links. So I'm not concerned. I can see this as you start to really grow, like get heavy as a business user and then add different things. But 500 branded links, man, that's a lot. But you know, Some people may have more. So there's that. Let's see. So why should you use it? We've gone over this and I'm going to just emphasize it every more. The every again, the biggest reason why you absolutely want to start using Rebrandly is for personal branding and marketing, right? You want to you did not win that with Mr. Moderator. Really? Someone had Mr. Moderator that me dot me. Well, that sucks. Do you have an option to buy it? I mean, you know. Because you're Mr. Moderator, Paul. Um, Personal branding and marketing, right? Oh, you did win that. You did. Okay, got it. You did. Why can I not read? You know why? Because it's small. Let me go back. You did that with Mr. Moderator dot me. Good. Thank you. Gosh. So you get to streamline your personal brand, consistent marketing without promoting Google, Yahoo, iCloud, any of those, right? So the dot Gmail, dot iCloud, dot whatever it is. Um, Analytics tracking, so with the analytics tracking, with Rebrandly, they tell you, you know, how many times the link has been clicked. You can get like tons of analytics. I'll be honest, I don't use analytics as much. Maybe now that I'm building out my website and I'm starting to actually be more focused with selling the master classes and the individual consulting and, and coaching services, this year I'll probably do a much better job with tracking my analytics, but the last year and a half, I haven't needed to. What is going yeah. on? How are you, Mr. Camera Junkie? Thank you for coming through. So you also, what I really like with Rebrandly is that you get a custom QR code. So one of the things that that's cool for is if you're on a lot of different Zoom sessions and you're talking, you're presenting or whatever it is, you can actually have, and more often than not, depending like us, we're, when we use Zoom, we're usually on our laptop, we're usually on maybe on our iPad because you don't want to be on Zoom, right? Like on a small phone screen. You want to be on Zoom on a much bigger screen, whether that's your iPad and usually your computer. Um, I'm just randomly pressing button now, buttons now. Let me close this. Hold on. What happened here? Okay, there we are. And so one of the things that I've seen from someone that I join um, when I attend a virtual networking meeting uh, every other week. His name is Jake. And what he does is that he created his own custom QR code and he actually puts it as his background on the corner as his background in the Zoom. So if anyone wants to know what that QR code is, right, you're on the Zoom, you can just scan it and it'll automatically direct to wherever you want. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, And then if you are going back to, so here's a perfect example with custom QR codes, social media marketing world, there were tons of people there, all the events that are now starting to come up again, because the people are starting to do in-person events. Well, if you have your own website, or if you have your own kind of link tree, link in bio type of deal, well, I would absolutely recommend that you create that custom rebranded link 
and then you have it saved on your phone. So as you start to network with people in these types of in-person events, all you want to do is just bring it up on your phone, have them scan it, and now they're good to go. You know what I mean? So that's a really good, cool way. And then, you know, really the biggest thing that we're just going to emphasize throughout this week is just controlling over your name and your own personal content. That's the huge, hugest takeaway I want you guys to have with your own domains and then taking advantage of, of your domains throughout this process. K-Walk, yeah. what is going on? Coming in, being consistent. I appreciate you for the support. Hello, hello, hello. So this, this slide is probably going to stay the same throughout the week. Um, I just changed some of the features there. But what are the costs, right? So most importantly is that it's free. I've already said that. But if we do compare to some of the others, I just compared it to Bitly, um, Rebrandly versus Bitly, because that is one of the other popular ones, is that with Rebrandly, it's free, 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 free. And listen, anything that I can get and with all the tools that I can get for free, I'm absolutely going to go for that versus another type of business, right? Um, so free. And then there are some options. So with Brie Brandly, depending on what you're looking for, you can, the next package up, they call it starter. And then the next package up is either going to be $29 a month or $288 for the year for the starter package. So what are you getting in these packages for Brie Brandly? So with the free package, you are getting 5,000 clicks tracked of your links, right? So what does that mean? That means that if my, let's do my India D dot live slash bio, that is the redirect that I want people to go to. So let me show you guys. Uh, if I come over here, India D dot live slash bio. And then we are going to, uh, is it the next scene? So this is my scene here, right? Not my scene. This is my India D dot live slash bio. If I want to start tracking how many times this link is clicked on, well, they're going in the free version. They're going to track it, this, this link up until people click on it 5,000 times. Once that link has this, that link has been clicked past 5,000 times, you're no longer going to get tracking. So if you know that you're getting a ton of hits on a particular site and it's imperative for you to click on those links or to track the links clicked, then that's where you would want to jump up to the 25,000 clicks tracked, right? Um, no, with Rebrandly, you can. You can add up to five with Rebrandly additional domains. And we're going to, if that's what you mean, we're going to go over that because I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You can have up to five, five total domain names with the package, the free package. Um, and then if you need more than five, then you go to the starter. They still give you five. So with the free package, you get five. That's it. That's it. That's it. If you need more than five, then with the starter package, you get five domains. And then each additional domain will be $5 more. So if you need six then you're going to pay $5 to have the sixth one plus that $29 a month or the 288 a year. Okay. And so the next thing is how many total branded links. So if the free version, you get 500 branded links. And if you need more than five, again, I'm thinking high level business users that they are, I don't, I don't know, 5,000, like Amazon, right? Like a huge business that then anything over or anything over 500. So if you need 600, that you're really selling different products, you have a bunch of different branded links, you are whoever that type of person, then that's when you're gonna go to the starter package. And then there's other miscellaneous things like with link tracking and things like that, that they give you on your starter package versus your free package. So how do you set it up and use it? Let's keep moving this over here because I know how much you guys love my timer. 
So the first thing by is obviously um, when I read your slide, I thought you were saying you can go up to six on the starter plan. I wish I, it's okay. <laughs> no problem. You're all good. You're all good. <laughs> it's okay. We keep each other on our toes. No need to shut up, my good friend. All good. Um, so how do you set up? Set it up and use it. So first and foremost, you're going to create an account with Rebrandly. They have really quick links, you know, by just creating an account, selecting your, your Google account, whatever, or email name. You're going to set up your domain. So what's really cool with Rebrandly, and we're going to go into some examples once I'm done with this slide, is that you can actually, if you don't have a domain, you can purchase a domain directly within the Rebrandly site, or you can bring your own if you've already done what we did on Monday through name.com or through Google, et cetera. You can bring your own in. Once you have your own domain set up, then you can start creating your custom domains. You're shortening your links, right? So again, your YouTube page, indiad.live slash YT, my Instagram page, indiad.live slash IG, right? Start creating all of whatever, like my kit. So indiad.live slash kit, and then that's what's gonna take you to the gear that I use and things like that. So you'll start creating all of your custom domains. You absolutely wanna download the app. They have an iPhone app. And that gives you an extension that you can even uh, create your own rebranded links from your iPhone. There's also a Chrome extension that if you're on a particular link, link, you click on your Chrome extension and you can just create your own rebranded links from within the Chrome extension. So you absolutely want to have those tools. And then, you know, obviously you're going to start sharing your branded links throughout your site, social medias, email signatures, et cetera. And then lastly, if it's important to you, you will track your links. And that is, that is it for the slides. So what I want to do is we are going to, now I'm going to move this over. Hello. Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm uh, loosening the wrong one. There we are. Okay. So let's come this way. And let's fix this. See, this is the thing. All right. And I'll make it bright for you guys. Make it bright, bright light. So we're going to click on and let me move my comments over. Oh, and K-Walk did have a question. So let me go back to that. I saw. And K-Walk did use. Oh, nope. It was Simply Obs had a question. So Simply Obs says, what app are you talking about with the QR code? So Obs, do you mean creating your own QR code or using the QR code? So let me know and I will answer that question. Let me make sure there's no other questions here. Let's see, I'm just gonna go through. I should get that. What's going on, Dr. Elo? How are you? You can get a dot .live domain from name.com at a discount. There you go. See, Paul is doing the thing thing. So here we, what I have up on the screen here is basically my particular just creating. So within, I'm going to show you obs. So that's a great question. That's what we're going to do right now. So within rebrandly, Rebrandly gives you the ability to create your own custom QR code once you have a rebranded link. So, okay, great. So I said that I there's no way I had more than 30 individual branded links. I've been using Rebrandly for about a year and a half. And you can see right on the top, it says that I have 23 links. And so I have my bio link, my coaching packages, two different forms of coaching packages. These are all the links that I've created, right? So 23, I don't know if I'll ever get anywhere near 500 individual links. So I think I'm safe on that bet for now. So if we click on, right, indiad.live slash click uh, ecam, I'm gonna highlight it. And this particular one tells me that this link, since I've created it, you have 32 human clicks. I have started because this is my actual affiliate ecam link. So that's something that I want to make sure that I can easily access and I can easily track because that's what helps me bring in some additional revenue. 
this little visit URL. If you want to see what that looks like, you can click on it and it'll open up a new tab for you directly. And it takes you to what the link is for people who are looking to start getting into Ecamm. But if they sign up through Ecamm, this is now my branded affiliate link, right? Um, let's go back Ecamm. If I wanted to copy it, let's say I wanna copy it and I'm gonna open up Messenger and I am going to send this to my good friend, Mr. Paul Duncan. And now it let me copy it very easily. Where are we? You can share it this way. I don't need another 10 step program. I <laughs> 51 rebranding links. You need another 10 step. Why do you have 51? Paul, yes. See, this is a whole, we needed to just rename this week of, um, I don't know, but we're definitely something addicted. We'll figure out the name by the end of, of the week of what we have. So let's go back to this Ecamm link. Um, you can share it and it'll just open up here, just different things where if I want to share it directly to Facebook, it's going to give me that option to share it directly to Facebook, share it directly on Twitter, LinkedIn via email. And here's one way I can get the QR code, right? So that's a quick way if you click on the share and now this generated a QR code for me. So you can choose your size, smaller, bigger, right? So if I click on 512, that's my big, my big rebranded link. I can save that there. We can close out. If you want something for your phone, I would say maybe the 256 is a decent size. So I would take that 256, I would download it to my computer or my phone, have it saved on my phone. So as I start doing networking events in person again, and I want someone, you know, for like my link in bio, I want someone to have that. I can just have it scan it, have them scan it directly from there. And so here we have, you can edit this link. It worked. <laughs> See, I knew one of you guys. Thanks, Paul. You're the best. <laughs> I knew one of you guys were going to immediately take your phone and see if it worked. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, let's go back. Where are we? And so if we want to edit the link here, clicking on edit, that starts now to give you some more information. So what do we have here? This is the rebranded link that I created, this very top one. So I have my domain slash my slug, right, slash ecam. This is a description of what the link is. This is the actual Ecamm affiliate link that Ecamm gave me, right? So look at this long thing, slash max, slash each other, live reference, India 92, blah, 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 whatever. When it was created, January 28th, um, 2021. So I created it a year ago. The total clicks, when was the last click? Two minutes ago, right? Paul says, I was absolutely, that's the trick. And I have affiliate links on every single one of those um, magazines that you'll be getting as well. There'll be bicycle magazines. I hope that, you know, you'll enjoy the content that way. Gives you some specifics of like the time zones here, where people are clicking from. So um, interesting. So Paul must live in this blue area up over here this way. But look at the percentage, right? So 66% in the United States over here, that's where Paul is. Apparently at some point, at some point, how interesting is this? Someone from Brazil kicked, clicked on my Ecamm link. Someone from Germany. Someone from Turkey. Mongolia. And Australia. All of those individuals, unless they're using VPNs, because that is a very real thing in a class for a whole nother day. Unless they're using VPNs and the VPN is redirecting, um, you can see where people are clicking on your links from. Then there's even, so look at all this data. Like this is huge with what days, the top days. So apparently Wednesday was my busiest day, you know, and, and you can use that. So let's talk about analytics and let's talk about, okay, so how is this working? Let's say I start uploading videos on Ecamm Live, how to use Ecamm Live, Ecamm tutorials, why Ecamm is the best live streaming software, and I just show different features. And then I say, if you wanna get a free trial, right? If I upload those videos only on Wednesdays, then I can click and say, okay, is this successful? Are people looking at the videos? And if, and it's also like kind of like a, if this, then that. 
if my video was successful, my tutorial video or my how to video was successful on YouTube, then they will click on if they're not current Ecamm users, then they will click on my Ecamm affiliate link because I made them want to sign up for it. Right. So and if this, then that and then tracking the days and the success a um, little far from Alaska for me, that's even north of Gretchen. Yeah, I don't know. Someone up there. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, let's see what else. So top socials. So apparently from people are clicking the link from within Facebook more often than where they are within YouTube. So that's good to know. And just some even more features like are where are people clicking on? So 51% clicked from a desktop, 39% clicked from smartphones and 9% clicked on tablets, your top browsers, top platforms, and then languages. Okay. So those are your stats, really great information, um, add options. So you can do notes. You can also tag specific things. So like I have two Ecamm dedicated links. One is my affiliate link. And then the other one is my join link. So if I want to start separating and tagging, I can then associate this tag with Ecamm. I can associate my Ecamm interview link with the Ecamm tag. So when I click on that Ecamm tag, it'll show me all of the links. So that's definitely when you start getting on the higher end of links, 100 links, 200 links, and you need to start grouping together what links are associated with what. I don't really need that right now, but that's a good thing. And then you can just stuff that I haven't even gotten into with deep links and traffic routing and all of that good stuff. The other thing is this is another way. So I showed you, I'm going to get out of here. If we click on the share button from the main page, that gives us an option to create the QR code right here. If we click on the link itself and I open it up here, you have similar options and it gives you its own QR code there and you can just trash it if you decide you know what I don't want to use this link like this one here I'm not I got to change my timer this one here I'm not really you can see zero clicks I've never used it it's a two buddy link I think I set it up the wrong way so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to trash it yes I want to delete that link and we are good to go there all right so these are all of my links you can change how you want to see it. So if you want to see them grouped this way, so instead of clicking on each one, you just see some more specifics. So you can do kind of this just individual list view, or if you want to have the snapshot of all of the information, you can have it this way, right? All right. So. Okay. Thanks, Paul. Oh yeah, there you go. All right. Thanks. You're so smart. All right, so now here we have on the top tab, you have domains. So you can see here, I have two domains that are already set up. I created the Idelgato Productions out live back in 2020, and then I stopped using it. Um, and now I have IndiaD.live, and that's what I use for almost everything. Let's say I want to do a new domain. Here you have some options. So that's where I was saying that you can, if you want to bring over a domain that you already own, you can just choose this option on the bottom, which is connecting a domain you already own, or you can enter in a brand or a company name. So we were looking at links for Angie the other day, right? Angie Gemini. So if we click on Angie Gemini, now you have some options. So you have Angie Gemini, $14. Uh, I did want to get her the dot live. So that's one of the things that I want you to make sure is just be careful with pricing because I feel like the name.com, I feel like Angie Gemini dot com was cheaper here. I could be wrong. It is. See? So don't I'm I'm a big fan of shopping around. Don't ever ever uh go to the first place because rebrandly has angiegemini.com for $14 where if I were to get it directly from name.com and I didn't buy it clearly, but if you get it from name.com, it's on sale for $9. Now we looked here for dot live. Check this out. 
dot live on this particular site on name.com is two ninety nine. But if I were to buy dot live here, that's two dollars. So we can add this to the cart. And so it makes sense where it would be better to buy the dot live from rebrandly and then buy the dot com for Angie on name.com. So that's one ecom ecam discount is right through so it's two dollars right so more or less the same price here but that's you definitely want to make sure that you do all of that so what paul is saying is that if i were to just use the ecam discount through name.com i would buy it through here to just to buy both domains at the same time and so um what plus you can even go into incognito it can be even cheaper what is this sorcery that I didn't know about? See, that's when you know that you are a, what is it? A self-proclaimed domain purchasing addict because I didn't know that. So what OBS is saying is that if we turn on, let me do private tab. If I do a new private tab, let me bring this over and match the size. And let's go to name.com. And I'm going to do Angie Gemini. Let's see if that works. Oh, that's the same price, but that's still a good trick. It's still a good trick to know. My goodness, you guys. All right, so let's go back. Um, so... If we go back to Rebrandly, you can buy the options there, right? And then if we go back one, then let's say I want to set up a new domain that I already own. You're going to connect a new domain and um, I'll do red light, green light, dot live, RLGL dot live. And now it asks you some questions. Is it a spare domain? Uh, if you guys have done this already, these are the steps already of you've already gone through it at least once if you have one domain. Um, yes, this is a spare domain because I'm not currently using it. If you have this associated as your main website domain, then you use that option and it says use a subdomain. So it would say, and it gives you an example. So link dot um, RLGL dot live. So it would be whatever it is. So like bio dot RG RL, whatever you're going to use the name. So like I had to do that with Kajabi. So I was using India D dot live for all of the links before I set up my website. So because that's already being used when I set up my Kajabi, it set it up through a subdomain. And so my website, if you go to for Kajabi, it's courses.indiad.live. And that's my actual website domain name. If I wasn't using this already, and I it was a brand new link that I would have gotten, then it would be indiad.live slash courses or something like that. So for me, it was like, all right, that makes sense. I'm just going to leave it as is. So Yes, it's a spare domain. I'm going to click on that. So now these are the steps. If you already own the domain the way I do through name.com. So it's telling me the action is required. Thank you so much, Gretchen. I hope that you're finding it helpful. Um, it's giving me the information of what we need to do here. So basically I have to go back to name.com. And I have to follow these steps. So it's telling me that this is the code that I need to redirect it to. And it gives me some options. <clears throat> so what that means is if I go back, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to log in to my name.com account. And I'm just going to go to my domains. These are all the domains that I own. So we're doing rlgl.live. I'm going to click on that. And then that's my old address. So I'm not worried about that. And URL forwarding. Yes. 
So here is where you would put in all of that information. And I'm not going to go through it because you guys are probably, you can go ahead and take advantage of all my stuff. So I'm not going to do that. But you would follow the steps, put everything in here. You would point to it and then you're good to go. So we're going to get out of here, go back. Um, and so this is what I want to do. I'm going to go back. Let's go back to links and let's say I want to create a new link. So if we create a new link, um, uh, let's see, I don't even know. Well, let's just do, I'm just going to take this one. Um, here we go. Is this, this is, okay, so this is my Columbia, you like my professional picture, my Columbia uh, Bank link. So I'm going to, that's a very long link, right? And let's say I want to rebrand that. I'm just going to control C that, go back, and I'm going to put that here. So now that's the destination link. Because I have two different domains here, it gives me the option. I Delgado Productions at live, India D.live, if I wanted to do just rebrandly. Because I started to do RLGL.live, I can do that. Um, I actually have, um, I purchased a domain and I have it under I Delgado Home Loans. So I can also put this, that bank branded link, right? That that's where if we go back to it, this is where I send my customers. They can either get in contact with me through this link. They can email me or if they want to start an application, they can just start right there on my direct website. So if I wanted to just have something, because like I said, us looking at this link, I don't even, I'm like, listen, just go to Columbia Bank and look for me under mortgages. But if I wanted to make it very simple, I can bring over my I Delgado Home Loans rebranded link. And then what I would do in theory was I would choose that domain, I Delgado Home Loans. And for now, we're just going to do IndiaD.live. And the slug that I'm going to do is slash apply. And so now if we go, I'm just going to close all of these additional windows. Hey, JJ, it's all right, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you doing today? <laughs> Okay, so now I created IndiaD.live slash apply. I want to make sure that that particular link goes to my Columbia Bank mortgage website. We're going to click on it and you can see how quick it was. And then if I want to see how many people are actually clicking on it, we're going to get out of here now. I'm going to refresh the page. And I've had one click on it. That was the one that I just did. And... That is all she wrote, folks. Bring you back this way. That is Rebrandly. That is using custom links with tracking. Um, I have, you know, my bio. I have my Calendly links. I have, if you want to sign up, my Canva link. I'm actually going to go back one more. I want to show you one more thing. So I move this stuff around. Let's go back this way. Next scene. There you are. So the other thing, if you look at these icons on the left hand side, depending on the actual um, the host site, if they have their information there, then it'll give you the icon. So for instance, the C, that's the Columbia Bank logo. So you can see next to this very top link, the Columbia Bank logo. These um, little web worlds, that's my Kajabi site. If we go down to this orange one right here, this like little, that's the fantastical link for flex, but go down a little bit more. This particular link here is the Canva link. That's my Canva affiliate link. I have an affiliate link with Glide Gear, Luna, and then you can see, so this is a Twitter link, a YouTube link, my buy me a coffee Instagram. So it's a good visual for you to know um, what's what. You know, I did want to try something. Actually, I'm going to look at this link. I'm going to click on edit. And this part here, India Delgado CRA account executive Columbia Bank. I'm going to click on, I want to go to this link again. I want to see what this looks like. 
Oh, it doesn't have it. Sometimes it'll show you. Let me see. I want to test something out. So I want to see if this works. All I'm just going to do, CRA account executive. Wait, why didn't it? Can I? Oh, because I didn't hit save. Silly girl. Executive. I'm going to click on save. Link title updated. I'm going to test something out and see if it works. It did not work. So the link titles, this part here does show up somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but you can customize it. I thought it was supposed to show up on the top on the actual search bar itself. I could be wrong because if we click on, if we just go to it, it's not there. And then I thought the tab would update, but it's not there either. Um, but that's okay. So no problem. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Um, let's see. But that is rebrandly in a nutshell. Let me see how long have we been streaming for? Cause I put on my timer late. We've been streaming for, fi Oh, my, my, uh, hold on. It's happening here. This guy is being a little difficult. Oh, I know why. See, this is the multi-mount things that can be like really good or just a pain in the butt if you don't set it up right. All right, now we're good to go. But that is Ray Brandley in a nutshell. If you have your own, first of all, if you don't have your own domain, you need to have your own domain. That's one. Two, if you have your own domain and you have multiple ones and you use multiple ones for different reasons, like not just because you want it to be crazy and have different ones or different extensions of ones. So like me with the bank, right? Or me as a loan officer, I don't got a home loans. And then me as a content creator, India D um, dot life, or then like the one for me and Angie, RLGL or red light, green light, right? I can bring all of those three different domains within rebrandly so I can control them all in one place and start creating customized branded links. So depending on, you know, Angie and I, when we get there, we are going to create our own YouTube channel. We're going to create our own Instagram account together, right? Then we can then just do exactly what I did where it'll be rlgld.live slash YouTube or, you know, um, a quick link for our podcast, rlgl.live slash podcast. And then it'll take you maybe to like the Apple podcasting or Spotify podcasting, wherever, you know, it's hosted at this easiest one. Um, so I hope that you are using it. If you guys, let me come back. Hey girl. Well, no, not that, but you know what, because I was using my side profile and because I was using my side camera, you can't really see me from that side. So I just turn on the lights, but you know, we be partying when I do the content creation stuff. Where are we with Angie's domains? I didn't buy them because I was so tired. I didn't buy them, but I'm going to buy them tonight. It's an earlier night. We are going to buy them tonight. Angelica, if you're still listening, we have to buy them. Um, that's where we're at. And I will take accountability because I promised her that I was going to buy them and I did not. So I am going to do them. This girl, my boo, how are you feeling? And congrats. And that's all the attention I'll give you because I don't, you know, some people don't want the attention drawn on them. So <laughs> Gigi says... I know I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to do it tonight. And so tomorrow when you ask me, it will be done. Let's go back here and let's, uh, where are we over here? We're going to put everything back where it needs to be. So that is it. Another day in the books. I'm going to buy them and I'll make you a deal. No, damn it. Angelica, do you hear this? <laughs> They're trying to, girl, you better buy them. Wait, you know what's so funny? That right before I started the stream, Angie literally sent me a text message and said, I just want, let me read this text message to you because now look at you guys are saying that you guys are going to stress me out. Hold on. Angie sends me a text message and she says, I seen a YouTube thumbnail about flipping domains. Literally. <laughs> Babe, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna, it's gonna take us two seconds. I'm gonna buy it right before our date night. You can get the video ready. And so Angie and I, because you know, we're long distance, we do our date nights. We do like, um, share play 
through Apple SharePlay if we want to watch some of those apps or there's something called teleparty where you can watch like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max. You send the other person a link and you can be on FaceTime and you can watch the video at the same exact time. Um, like you're together and a lot of people, yes, I'm going to buy, I don't have my card number information. I'm going to do it as soon as we get off the phone. I promise as soon as we get off the phone and then I'll send, I'll post a community update saying Angie's domains have been bought. Um, but we do date nights with our, with teleparty or share play. And I've read that some, like I've been on like Reddit and people say that Apple share play is so dumb. Who's going to do it. And I'm like, people who are in long distance relationships, dummy, or someone who is like, if you're close with your mom and you want to watch a, my mom is in Pittsburgh with Joseph. And if we wanted to just like have a mother daughter night and watch a movie together, or like if you're close with your best friend or something, and they're on the other side of the world, SharePlay. So Apple did it really good with SharePlay um, because you can be on FaceTime. What they managed to do teleparty, what Angie and I have to do with teleparty is that I'll put it usually on the MacBook Pro speakers and have the phone right there or because it doesn't, the music, it creates an echo. Where Apple SharePlay, they've got it mastered. So you can literally be on, let's say on the MacBook right? Angie and I will be on each other's on our own MacBooks. We'll have FaceTime open. We'll open up Apple TV and put something on SharePlay and it lowers the volume. It knows what to do on each side. So it lowers the volume of whatever it does so that we can still hear each other, but it doesn't create an echo. And we watch the movie literally at the same time. So it's like you're in the movie theaters together. And I mean, we get we get the fun of we can actually hit pause, right? We hit the space bar and we're like, oh, my God, did you just hear or we'll die laughing or whatever that is. Um, so we have our date night tonight. So before date night, I will make sure that we buy those domains because I know you guys are going to yell at me. Ob says, actually, I'm glad you do. That being able to do stuff together is awesome. Yeah. In a long distance relationship, we have to do take advantage of little things like that. We've done cute little things where we've like had dinner together and propped the phone up and like I'll sit at my table, but we can get better at that. But we are really good with doing date night and watching a movie together and going through that experience. So that's what we're going to do now. And I'm going to have some lasagna and I'm going to post it on my socials. Kim says... I'm trying to be low key, but it's hard. Proud of your streaming commitment. Thank you. Thank you. Because I'm crazy. 17 days in, 83 days to go. 83 days, but we're going to, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. So tomorrow, what do we have planned for tomorrow, you guys? So we spoke about domains. Let me go back to my trusty planner. Let me look at my notes. I want to make sure that I covered everything from my notes because I did plan for you guys today. Look at all these notes for you guys because I love you guys. Um, blah, 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 blah. Create a scene, blah, blah, blah. I did all of that. Cool. All right. Good, 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 good. So tomorrow we are going to do Calendly. So tomorrow we're going to go over Calendly, um, why you would want Calendly, why you would use Calendly. We'll talk about same thing. We're going to do the same competitor. What Calendly is, why you want to use Calendly. How do you use Calendly? What are the Calendly competitors? Calendly pricing. So the free version versus the non-version, the non-free version. What are you getting? So we're going to go over all of that stuff tomorrow. You'll see that I have my rebranded links. I actually stopped using Calendly because I use Flexbix Fantastical and that will be on Friday probably or I might be able to do both tomorrow I might actually be able to do both tomorrow because they're both very similar so I will plan that and see how that's going but tomorrow Calendly all right day 17 check in the books 100% yes falling asleep together that's another thing that we do we'll be a cute couple and we'll put the phone like on opposite ends and we lay down and um well, it's so, listen, I, look, you guys can't know the cheesy part of me, so I'm not going to tell you guys, stop telling our secrets, babe. Gosh, then everybody's going to know I'm not tough anymore, right? Like, that's not going to work. Everybody needs to know go on you. Go on you. I'm tough, okay? Gosh. 
Obviously, it did not work out. You guys are funny. Um, Pastor Vaughn, what is going on? How are you doing? That is the wrong scene. Yeah. How you doing today, Pastor Vaughn? Um, I did not do ClickUp. I, I'm not too well versed in ClickUp, but I can ask Evie to come on one of the days and she can go over ClickUp. And so if that is of interest of you, I will talk to Evie. Evie will absolutely support. And then I'll be sure to tag you when I do it. Probably not next week, the following week, um, because next week we're going to start talking about using the iPad for digital note taking and the different apps and how I organize myself. Can I say Calendly five times fat Calendly? No, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. Good things. You don't have to deal with minutes anymore. Right? Yeah. No. All right, you guys, we are going to wrap up 17 days in Today was 83 days to go, but tomorrow we will be 18 days in, you guys. Stop telling the secrets. All right, cool. Cool, Ron. I will tag you. I'll get on a schedule with her, and I'll, I'll bring her on, and she can do all the things. Where am I? All right, you guys. Yeah.